Simon, welcome back. How are you today? Good. It's good to be back, as always. Same here. So you told me that today you want to cover the document sections in Zoho Books. Why it's so important to have the, the Zoho Books document section and what can you do with this section? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a good question. The, the document section is pretty much your, the gold rush of the accounting process. It's the most important piece of the business, documentation and backup. So where do we store most of it? It's usually in a shoebox somewhere right. or it's in filing cabinets that are really unorganized. And the idea of documents is to really help bring all of this into the cloud. It's a very normal thing nowadays. The governments have accepted it. And it's incredibly important for business owners to keep everything online. Why do I need to save those receipts? Well, for one, finding those receipts when you are in a review or an audit position. Which happens is, a lot. By the which way. happens a ton. Is yeah. quite hard. And especially if you have paper receipts that are squished together and are, you know, after four years, they're not even visible or faded, legible. Yeah. Yeah, this is a huge improvement. And you can pull things by the account category if they are looking into a specific category like M&E. Mm -hmm. And you can download everything from there. It's just so much easier to process and take care of. And it also uh, helps with like automation and improvement into the system. So accounting teams can then have approvers and they can check the backup once a document is posted. So, so, yeah. so reason number one to have this video about the documents is that you will have a way to attach uh, receipts to your expenses. And if you are being reviewed by, a gov by the government, you will be able to prove that the, the uh, expense that you had is legit and you can Correct. show the receipt. And hopefully because you satisfied the government in whatever questions they had, it will not lead to a full audit, which is horrible. That's right, yeah. Okay, what's the second thing? So the second thing would then be the simple and very, very straightforward, easy processing method. So from the document section, you can post all your bills and just the visibility and access of the documents is so helpful. It saves you so much time in processing and just overall management of AP bottom line. It's incredible. Like and I, processing I through there. you're going to give us a full demo, A to full Z, demo. how it works. That's correct. Yeah. Before the session, I asked you to promote your services and you said, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So I will do it for you. Okay. So just so you know, Simon owns a company named Sphere Consulting. He has professional people doing bookkeeping, accounting, and migration services from one accounting system to another. Now, even if you are not in Canada and you're in the US, Australia, UK, whatever it is, they're able to provide you amazing, amazing bookkeeping services. You also, uh, as a division that migrating one system to another, for example, zero to QuickBooks or QuickBooks to Sage or Sage to SAP, QuickBooks to Zoho Books. And Simon's company was able to convert all my companies from QuickBooks to Zoho Books. And they did phenomenal job after seven different accounting companies slaughtered me with big bills and no results. So just know that he owns an awesome accounting company that's servicing companies around the world. So we have a company here, mm -hmm. okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is a sample company, obviously. Um, this is a service company. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the document section, okay? And the different capabilities of it as well, okay? So, Documents as a whole is typically not as easy to find with other accounting software. So I find that with other systems, the documents are kind of in different areas of the software. Here, it's pretty straightforward. You have it on the right, left-hand side. At the bottom, you click documents. Right. The now, other systems, you need to click on the receipt to see the, 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 the document. Exactly. So there's a couple of things that you can do here. Um, and they're constantly developing this too. So Zoho is putting a lot of effort into this recently. So you can configure an email address that you can add to your contacts. And then every time you have an invoice or receipt, you could just forward that email over here. What it does is it'll extract the PDF or the attachment and then save it as a backup here for you to post later. So it's so kind of I, like, a, yeah. So one second. So if, for example, like I'm getting invoices from Amazon, 
-hmm. I can create a rule in my email system that whenever there is an email from Amazon with an attachment, it will automatically forward to this address. Exactly. You're too smart for your own good. Yeah, exactly. This is actually you already teach me that. So, <laughs> well, these are the <laughs> tricks that help business owners like save time, right? You don't want to be at month end. Oh, we're providing receipts, looking into Amazon accounts and downloading them manually, setting this up in advance saves you so much time in the long term, right? So, so I, yeah. So I, I will tell you from my experience, I used to have an admin assistant that was doing all this crap for me. Mm -hmm. And once we started to config all those rules and all those settings, now the admin is doing other things. Exactly. Instead of dealing with something that Zo can do in a better way. So I exactly. just saved you know, 4,000 dollars a month on an admin assistant. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy. You think about that and also your time, right? Because you have to be involved at some point because you're the business owner. Yep. And there were also more mistakes when humans interact with stuff. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. So we're going to configure this and we can put anything. We can put sample and that's our new email address. And then what you essentially do is you just take this and save it to your, all your contacts, save it on your phone, add a new contact, you know, Zoho books, receipts or invoices, Zoho books, documents. Yep. And within this platform, you can also click and drag. So that's another benefit. So we're going to do that as well. So we're going to click and drag some examples. I just downloaded these. These are fake. Just templates. And you can see we have this option here to do the auto scan. Now, this is really cool. So what Zoho can do is they can take a receipt and then decipher the receipt and code the majority of it for you. Now, I'll walk yeah. through the entire process from start to finish so that it's easy for the viewers to understand. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, please do. So any questions so far? Pretty simple to me. You drag yeah. and drop some files and that's it. Or email, exactly. So or email. Yeah. in here you have folders. So you can you can technically create folders here for other things that you want to back up in the financial module, which is the whole box. What would so, be a structure that you would follow in the folders? Invoices, receipts, or vendors? or? Yeah, so anything that you're going to attach to a posting, leave it in the general file section. Posting means to your bank bills. account? Yeah, and to your bills or expenses, things like that. So if you're okay. going to attach those to your expenses and bills, leave them in the general area because they're going to be cleared out of here. Okay. Uh, if there's anything that you want to attach, like bank statements, for example, that's a really good one. So you can have a bank statements area and all your statements will go here. This is something relatively new from Zoho. So wow. this is a very new thing. This, is, this hasn't been around for too, too long. Um, and there are glitches with this. There are pros and cons. Sometimes it doesn't work, but bottom line, great thing to also automate and set up. So then you as a, as a bookkeeper, you can send me an email that says, Lior, only RBC failed. I need Correct. that instead of all my 14 accounts. That's exactly Ooh. it. Yeah. So otherwise the folders here, I sometimes, you know, I tend to tell people, this is really your free area to organize documents, however you like. If you want to put extra documents in here, like quotes and other things that just don't need to be in the system, then you can at least store it here on the cloud. Not sure if that's necessary, but uh, some people like to use it. Okay. So we understand from the previous video that when you create a bill, you go this way, right? And you can create the bill. You can click and drag a receipt into here, right? The same way that we just did for documents. Click so and the drag. idea that if right now this is my Mac that I purchased for $3,000, mm -hmm. I will have here on the right side the attached files. I will load the receipts here. Exactly. So you can click and drag like I just did, right? Just like that. Or you can click upload and you can go from desktop. You can go from a cloud like you know provider or you can go from documents. And then once you click this document section, then we have the two options right here. I see. And you can just attach it. And the yeah. one that I see 154, that's the auto scan that that's received correct. the information. So yep. I know the vendor name, I know the amount and mm -hmm. the date. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. super useful. And it'll sometimes like uh, give you a little remark saying, this is most likely the one that you're looking for. So it'll help you out. And we know that you can do this from here. Now, the problem is you have to start coding everything from scratch when you're doing it through the bill section. That's right. And clicking plus, finding the vendor every single time, and then searching for the document 
time might be a little bit exactly so much power and time goes into this to make sure that nothing is missed i guess you're going to show me a better way that's correct yeah <laughs> because i like how the would... setup yeah yeah i'm, I'm <laughs> right to the target okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the document section and then let's go to one of these the samples so we open this up and from the get-go we have a bunch of options and um uh, you know, we can, we can take a look at this receipt, we can analyze it, and then we can move it. And these are the folders that I was just talking about previously, you know, the different areas that you can put into within documents. Again, typically something that I don't like to use unless you really need it, right? The next option, the red ni nice one, is once you click it, you can add it to something specific. This is where as an AP processor, as somebody who's taking care of the accounts payable, you can process everything through the document section without thinking, what expense do I still need to process? That's crazy. Because you're going to go through the bills and how are you going to remember which one has a receipt? You know what I mean? When you're creating it, unless you have it printed out in front of you. So I know that your company is providing bookkeeping services for Zoho. That's right. And when, when you guys as professionals are doing the bookkeeping for your clients, are you using the document section? Yeah, religiously. This is like our favorite section. Our wow. team pretty much handles it from start to finish. The only thing that the client does is just click and drag or email the receipts in. We take care of the rest. Awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very much appreciated by the clients. Wow. So from here, we click new bill. And that's pretty much going to redirect you to a new page that you haven't seen, but where the, the page is split in two. And this is super helpful because then you could see the bill, you can zoom in, and you can also code it right next to it, right? Saves you window space, saves you printing, right? So we go ahead and click on the vendor. Let's assume this is Amazon. You type out the bill name, right? The transaction and the bill date, 2015. This is quite an old sample, clearly. So we're just going to click a random date. And then you code it. And as soon as you click save as open, this backup would then be attached to the bill automatically. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just do some sort of expense mileage, even though Amazon doesn't charge us mileage. Okay. Once we click save as open, it relieves it from here. And now once we go into the main area again, under bills, we're going to see it right there. So you have a new bill that, that's automatically created from the document section. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about this is the attachment is here, right? And you can see that there's an attachment. So as a sense check, I would always check the bill section to make sure everything has an attachment. Awesome. Right? Okay. Any questions so far? Yes. Uh oh. So the other one, this guy mm -hmm. was auto scanned. Mm -hmm. Am I going to get more benefit from the auto scan? Because the auto scan costs money, right? It's like That's you're correct. buying yeah. buckets of auto scans. Yeah. Um, it's a great system. I mean, out of the box, it's phenomenal. They have auto scan like advanced that you can also buy. That's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But I would typically suggest just starting with the regular auto scan and see how you like the work, right? Because is it a must or? It's no, nice to have. It's a nice to have. It speeds okay. up the process. If you're processing thousands of invoices a month, then for sure, auto scan is going to help you. What will happen if you try to create a bill out of this receipt, the one that was processed? Good question. So we're going to go ahead and click add to bill. And what will happen is oh. it tries to fill it in. So, so yeah. the time that you need to invest going down dramatically. That's correct. Yeah. Insane wow. savings especially when you're processing a lot and you have similar vendors, let's say, right? If you have repeat vendors, this is incredible. And the system, once you start posting, should be learning as you go. So when you pick the vendor now, let's just say that it, this one's East Repair Inc. And we're just going to create a new vendor for now. Okay. Typically, we add a lot more info, but we're just going to create it. The system will now know that if it's scanning this next time, it's going to be this vendor that is picked. Okay. And again, and also, all the stuff helps. That, that the total is not correct. And that's because of the sales tax. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So here's that's where awesome. you have to have a bit of interventions, right? When you have sales tax 
set up here, it would be a separate column here that you can code one by one. But still, it saves lots of time, especially tons. if you have those big receipts with lots of uh, items. Yeah, tons and of if time. if you have also the breakdown of everything that you're purchasing, you're able to create insane reports on it and know your expenses, behavior, and so on. This is incredible. And again, same thing happens once you click save as open, it's going to attach the receipt to the actual document. Wow. So with the documents, you have so much more, like so many more possibilities, right? Because you might want to restrict it. The way that you can restrict it is obviously through the user roles. And this might be something that we could touch on next time, maybe. Yeah, next time. I don't want to, to overwhelm yeah. people. Yeah. Now, uh, the last thing is, Let's say that I have in my in my bank feeds, mm -hmm. I have a new transaction. Mm -hmm. Can you connect the transactions from your document to the bank? Yeah, same exact way, by the way. This is the exact same thing that you can do. So you can categorize the receipt, okay, mm -hmm. in here. And what you can do is you can then associate the receipt right here. Ah, uh, from documents. That's awesome. right. Okay. Same exact way that you can. And you can also then go from here and go from desktop and then find it on your desktop. Awesome. Okay. It's a great system that works all throughout the system. Like it's interconnected. It's incredible. Simon, you're awesome. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is the whole idea of this is to save time and money and energy. And stress down the road, right? That's the most important thing. The most important thing that is that I found you. <laughs> I Look, used to, to deal with Mickey Mouse accountants and bookkeepers, but uh, you're awesome. Look, when you wear a shirt like this, it can be naked. It doesn't in matter. Toronto. You're, you're, you're awesome. Enjoying the summer. Okay, so Simon, thank you for your time. Uh, what do you want to do next week? I think we should do user roles. I think that's a really big one. Okay. Yeah, it is big. I see lots of systems that uh, business owners giving their employees full permissions and they can see their bank accounts. They can see everything. Woo! Scary thought. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely a big improvement area for any system because even other systems, that's very, very minimal in terms of control. Here you have incredible control. So I'm really, really yeah. excited for the next session. Fantastic, Simon. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I know that you have some holidays coming in. So I wish you a happy new year and uh, Thank you. all the best. Thank you, Lior. It was always okay. a pleasure. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Ciao.